Welcome to the Learning Zone. Today we're going to be batch converting MKV files to MP4 files with the same exact quality and it will not take that long, but make sure you have FFmpeg installed on your computer. If you don't have it already installed on your computer, I have a tutorial on how to do that. You can click the link right above. But first, what we're going to do is navigate to your command prompt. So you can do that by going into the Windows search bar at the bottom, typing in CMD, and the command prompt will show up and you can click on that. So now that we have our command prompt open, what we are going to do is navigate to the directory that has all of our MKV files. So I have a folder on my desktop called MKV. And so we're going to go there by typing in CD desktop. And what that CD does is tell us what directory to go to. So CD desktop, and it'll go to the desktop. And now we need to go to our MKV folder, CD MKV. And now we are in the MKV folder on our desktop. If you need to go back, you do CD dot dot, and it'll go back a directory. So CD MKV. So now we are where all of our files are at. And what we can do if we just want to convert one is do FFmpeg dash I, and then the file name file dot MKV, make sure to have the dot MKV in it, dash C copy. So basically this is just moving it from the MKV container to the MP4 container. It's not re-encoding or doing anything like that. We're just moving containers and it will be basically the same file size, basically the same file, but in .mp4. And then file.mp4. You can name it whatever you want. Just make sure you have the .mp4. And then that is just for one. However, we want to batch convert. We want to do a whole series of them. But what we want to do is a for loop. So we're going to do for dash R, and this will look recursively in all of the subfolders. So if you have a bunch of folders within these folders, um, it will also convert all of those. And then for the files in with the name dot MKV, dot MKV, and we're going to tell it what to do. So for all the files that are dot MKV files, do FFmpeg, pretty much what we did before, dash I, and then this is going to be the file name, percent %f, so the file, dash c, copy, which is what we did before. And then what we want to do is the new file dot mp4. So we can do percent %f dot mp4, just like that. However, we also want to clean it up a little bit by getting rid of the dot mkv at the end. So if we just did it like this, it'll be dot mkv dot mp4, which is a little messy looking. So we're going to do tilde n to get rid of that mkv at the end. So it'll now just say mp4. Now, if you're doing this within a batch already, you can do percent percent %f and then for everything instead of percent %f and it'll do the same exact thing. But this should get you what you need. So now we're going to hit enter and it'll go through and convert all of our MKVs to MP4s. It will leave all the MKVs, don't worry, it's just copying them over. You can delete them later if you'd like. And just like that, I think that was about seven or so files that we converted from MKV to MP4. They were all somewhere around 100 to 400 megabytes big. So if you have larger files, it'll probably take a little bit longer. So thank you for James Mac White on GitHub for sort of this example. I kind of went through that. If you also need that for Mac, I will leave that in the description. It's slightly different. And if you have any issues, for example, if you have like a different audio type for your MKV file that MP4 doesn't support, you may have to convert it over. But if you click the link in the description, it kind of goes over all of those different solutions. So make sure to check that out if you have any problems. And if you have any other problems in general, you can let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to help. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like these in the future. If you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know as well. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. This is The Learning Zone.